Hi everyone, Tracy here from Art Fibre Stitch. I'm just showing you quickly what we played with last time. And we made these lovely felted uh, wool leaves. But uh, since then I, I had to keep playing, I keep finding different things. That one there that I was just looking at, that was uh, on a leaf skeleton that I found in my garden. And now I'm going to experiment a little bit more with leaf skeletons. On it, I used some of the um, white glue, craft glue, paper glue, PVA glue, and water. And I'm going to do the same now. But it reminded me of how I more often use that um, when I'm playing around with silk and making silk paper. So I'm going to try doing these skeletons with a mixture of both and see how that works. Wool fibre and silk fibre. So here's some silk fibre, tusser silk tops. And um, this stuff here is just so fine, so smooth, so soft and silky. You know, that's the reason this stuff is no good really for felting because it doesn't have those barbs in it like the wool does. I mean, the wool is really quite rough feeling in comparison and it's those barbs on it that help it felt in. Whereas the silk, well, that's a whole different kettle of fish. It's soft, smooth and shiny. It's better to be glued down. That'll give us a lovely luster and shine in places. It's very, very delicate and you can pull it out so thinly to just give you a sheer colour over the top. So I'll try that on that leaf skeleton one and we'll make a few new ones. Now I had just happened to have this piece of leaf skeleton that I'd cut in pieces so I'm going to just use them as an experiment. I've grabbed a piece of net, just ordinary tulle. And I have laid it down and I've put my leaf skeletons on the top, or my pieces of, and now I'm layering bits of wool and bits of silk, bits of this and bits of that. I put some threads in just to see what would happen. I'm going to use some of that thick and thin wool again. Uh, and I'll tease that bit out in the center like I did last time. And I'll just place bits of that down as well on some of them or maybe some threads maybe some bits and pieces of yarns or whatever else I find interesting to pop in there I think you could really uh, go the whole hog with experimenting with this one but I'm gradually building color up can you see they're very very fine pieces of uh, of very delicate color. I decide at this stage I'd like to see a little bit of aqua so I'll pop a little tiny bit in. But it, I'm not sure which side it will be viewed from. Is this the back or the front? Do I look at it through um, the pattern of the, of the leaf skeleton? Will that be the front? Is this the back? So it's very hard to sort of picture it whether it's going to be okay or not. Not that it matters. We could just do some more later. Hmm. So a teal colour here. I do need some darker bits. It can't just stay light to match in with the other. And we have to have light and dark. So, oh, look at the pretty, the teal colours. I like that. So that's what I'm doing. And I don't know how it's going to be because we won't know until we, we see it dry. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping. So I put the net on there on purpose um, because that's how I normally do silk paper and I think this is going to work a whole lot better. Because my problem before, if you'll remember, was that when I used my brush with that um, PVA glue and water mix, you know, well it just, all of those sticky threads of silk just uh, attach themselves to the brush and it's very hard to get it to stay where I want it. So what I'm going to be doing next is once I've gotten all these pretty bits and pieces down on here I'm going to fold over the net uh, and I'm going to 
mix some of that PVA glue. You can see I've got a splodge there ready on my work surface with some water. And then I'm going to paint it through the net. And what this does is it allows you to um, get it glued down, but uh, not have it interfere with your brush and, and move around too much. This works really well and it won't stick to the net. You'll just peel it off it at the end. And uh, when you've done one side, you can turn it over and do the other. So it's going to be an experiment. And it peels off just like this. That's like I'm showing you. You can get it off when it's wet if you want, but you're better off to leave it for a little while. Um, yeah, but it allows me to look at it and see it. And I, is it going to be nice? Well, we'll see. So I've covered them up and I've done them. And now I have grabbed out the ones that I already had done. They're the ones underneath. They're, they're just waiting for us to look at. And here are the others. This is the, the two wool ones and the one that I did on the leaf skeleton. And I decided I'm just going to add in a little bit of those bits of leaf skeleton and some lovely silk onto them as well just so that they f all fit together a little bit and because i've added a tiny smear of silk on top of them i'm going to use this again and i'm going to go through that as well with that dabbing motion and some water and some glue uh, so i'm really layering it up with net in between Later on I can unfold the net and that's fine. We can take it outside to air and dry a bit. But, you know, I'm having a lot of fun doing this and I thought, well, I've still got some glue left. Let's do something else. I can flip it over like I'm about to do now and uh, have a look at the other side. Do I think it went all the way through? Am I happy with that? You know, I could always lift the side of the net and have a look at it. Let's see. I'm thinking we've got some lovely colour there. But like I say, it'll look completely different when it's dry. Take it away now. Pop it outside to get some air in. And uh, what I've decided to do is grab another piece of net. And I have some more of those leaf skeletons, like the one that was cut into pieces. So oh, I'm just going to have another go. Why not? It's all here. Let's go. I think three is a good number to play with. I'm just going to spread them out on my net. I was rummaging around looking for the silk top. And I saw a little bit of this. Uh, fibrous kind of paper and I thought oh, okay let's let's see if you if that will go in if that'll stick you could use a lot of different uh, nets and gauzes and laces and all kinds of things I've used before feathers all kinds but I'm wanting this to be you know like a leaf so I'm using a green silk just a fine little layer just to see and popping it down and layering up more and more bits of color with the silk, tiny bit of that wool, um, some darker colors, richer colors, lighter. So this is a this is a wool roving. I'm just going to put a few little patches of dark in. Can you see how I'm teasing it out and making it very, very, very fine? So with a little bit of silk and a little bit of roving and the odd bit of threads, it will start to come together. And I really like the idea that we're sort of, you know, painting with these layers of wool. I'm going to put some dark brown in now, in the center, on that um, center stem. I think that might look good. 
It may move around when I start to try and glue it. I don't know. It's worth a go. We can always add more later. Once it's dry, if I didn't particularly like it, I could add some more. But they were looking a little bit insipid without some dark colour, so let's get it in and then we can add some light. And You know, it just keeps coming together with whatever I have. But I grab out some silk now. Look at this. It has, it's variegated, so it has all different colours in it. And I could get some purpley browns and some russet colours and all kinds of from Oh, from that one piece of silk. So I'm going to maybe pop some purpley colour in to start with, then uh, some russet, then some gold. And then look at this. I found this. This is a gold glittery mesh. I'm just going to rip it up and add a little bit of that in too. I wonder if it'll show up in the end. So I cover that up. And I do the same with the glue and water mix. Like here, you can see I have some that are trapped in the um, in the net, and some that I've picked out. So even though these are still wet, I've taken these ones out, I've laid them flat, and we'll look at them tomorrow. And here we are, next morning. I'm still in my dressing gown. But it's like a kid at Christmas opening this up. Let's have a look at what happened. Uh, by now they're almost dry and it's quite easy to just peel them away from the net and see what I've got. Oh, this will be very exciting for me. Let's just see what we have. I've got quite a collection, that's for sure. All right, time to see. Now there's that leaf skeleton. Looking at it from that side. It's very interesting, the colours that show through. Here's it from the other side. Well, I don't know. It's very, very uh, whew, patterned, or very bright, but possibly. I've got two joined together here where the two, where the fibres have sort of intermeshed with each other. That's the, I think that's the wrong side. That's the right side. I like it with the leaf skeleton. I think that's the way to go. Although I'm getting an idea about that. Hmm. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention was that uh, we've still got some areas where the colour that you used underneath would show through because it's still basically a skeleton. So whatever I put it on, and see here I'm, I'm showing you what it's like with that bit of... Um, mesh underneath so we could still play with that and have colors underneath showing through that would be fun but i'm just going to trim one of these up and have a look at it and see you know do i like it better like that and i want this i'm just going to um keep a little bit more of that brown because you know it moved a bit but i did want it so there it is that's the wrong side up although i think if I layered more colour on there, I could like that. I could use these other bits of leaf skull and cut a bit off and adhere that to it or sew it to it. Oh, so many ideas now. Uh, that could be, look really good like that. But I'm just going to trim a few more whilst I'm sort of getting the idea. Now, can you look at this one here? That's one of the ones that was wet and we laid it on the flat plastic. And it, got, it created a bit of a film, a shiny film from where the, um, the glue and water sort of uh, met the plastic. Didn't seem to get that on the net one, so hmm, that might be a lesson for later. Now here I am just deciding what would this look like if I took a bit of this leaf skeleton out. I do like the look of that. And I'm thinking that that's, that's another good idea. I think we could uh, certainly play with that. Well, we've got a lot of variety here, haven't we? Different, you know, different looks. Still don't know what I'm going to make from it, but uh, I'm excited enough to keep experimenting and try. Hmm. 
Yeah, I still think maybe some on top as well. Look, I think this is a, a great fun project. I'm really going to play with this business about picking some of that uh, that top layer of that leaf skeleton off and allowing some of those lovely colours underneath to come through. I think that would be really nice. So whilst I'm mucking around here, and that's that piece of, uh, of fibrous paper I put in, that showed up okay. Imagine that, you could stitch through this now, it could be just lovely. Uh, all right, I'm just going to fiddle. But what I'm thinking is maybe we should revisit this next time and we'll make something from these and just see what we come up with and uh, and uh, just play a little bit more, I think. I'm already bursting with ideas. That's what it's like with me. I try one thing, it leads me to think of something else and before you know it, I'm on a full-blown adventure. Anyway, I'm definitely coming back next week with this because I really am enjoying it. Now, I hope you have enjoyed it too and that you like what you've seen. If you have, don't forget to press like, subscribe if you would like to and, uh, and join me next time when I make something from these. But, you know, I really think there is a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of potential here to make something very pretty. Look at that. Yes, I like that. All right. Well, once again, thank you for watching. And see you next time.